Hi, my name is Greg Paglia. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Voidboard Roofing. In today's episode, we're going to talk about flat roofs, roof seams, and how they come apart and what you should do as a building owner to reduce the cost of the repair that you may or may not need. Um, and I wanted to go through three scenarios. One where your roof seams are pretty much intact, they're pretty much in good shape, and your warranty is about to expire. One where they're still in decent shape, but maybe they're coming up a little bit, and a third scenario where they're completely blown apart. Um, just wanna talk about the cost of them, what your options are, um, and all that. So first thing is if you have a roof that has a 10 year warranty, say you have a single ply roof with a 10 year warranty, seems in a good shape and it's year number nine. And you wanna know what you wanna to do to reduce the cost of your roof, repair and expenses going forward. Uh, what you can do is install a roof coating system. It's pretty much just like paint. It's not paint, it's engineered to handle the roof elements. Um, there's a reason why the manufacturers of it give out warranties for it. Uh, but because your roof is in such good condition and the seams are intact and there's not a lot of saturated insulation, um, you can spray or roll coating onto your roof and get a new warranty. Um, it's only two to four dollars per square foot. I mean, those costs were from the summer of 21. So with everything going on, it, it might be a lot higher, not even going to lie. It might be a lot higher than what it used to be. But still doing that as opposed to ignoring your roof at all and having to do a complete tear off and then install a new roofing system, it'll cost way less to restore your roof with a coating today while your roof's in good shape than waiting around. Um, kind of the second scenario is, you know, maybe your roof's been out of warranty a couple of years, um, your seams are coming a little intact or some of the adhesive between the seams is, you know, fading away, you know, what should you do? Um, you wanna get a contractor on your roof immediately. They're gonna pull some core samples, maybe do an infrared inspection to determine how much of your roof's insulation is wet. Um, if you're above 25%, your best case scenario is to remove, remove your entire roof and put something else on. If you're under that threshold, like maybe it's 15%, then you can restore your roof, which is great. But the sooner you find out you know, how your roof seams are going, um, the cheaper your option is gonna be the faster you find it, because you're only collecting more saturation as time goes on. Um, there's some water entry point where water's getting in, and it's only gonna make things worse. Um, and then there's the last case scenario where maybe your roof's been completely neglected for 10 years. You have seams that aren't even connected anymore. Um, in this case scenario, roof restoration probably isn't an option. You're gonna have to rip it all off and put something else on. And just the reason there's too much saturated insulation, um, you just wanna start over and start fresh. So like I said, the whole thing is between that 20 and 30% threshold and catching your problem early will reduce any repair um, today as opposed to further down the road. Um, some people have asked me what causes roof seams to come apart in the first place. Um, seams on a roof, that, that's the most stress on any roofing system. Your roof contracts and expands as it gets hot and cold during the day and night, just pulls those seams apart. The adhesive that connects the um, roof seams together could get broken down by UV rays over time. Um, sometimes when a little bit of water gets underneath, it'll freeze in the wintertime and expand and then uh, in the springtime when it thaws, just creates a wider opening that allows more water to come through quickly. Um, just a lot of things that can cause those seams to come apart. And then, um, like I said before, just real quickly, the faster you catch your problem, the most reduction you can have in your roof repair project. So hopefully you can restore it. Hopefully you're seeing this today, it can call someone. Um, but if not, then you know what's gonna happen if you ignore your problem. So hopefully you learned at least one thing new today. Uh, if you have any other questions, reach out to me uh, anytime. And uh, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Thank you.